Hi, this is Brooke Rogers with Kiwi's Party. I'm going to be showing you guys some paints that I have here that are brand new. They're Micam paints, and you can get these at the facepaintformshop.com. They screw together and screw apart, and you can stack them as many paints as you like. The first color that I'm going to load up is Beige by Tag, and this is going to be right over the corner of my mouth, just where Batman's mouth is going to be. And of course, you only have to go up until underneath Batman's nose because he wears a mask. So I'm going to load up next on my black paint by Micam. And I read up about this paint a little bit, and they did a new production process, which means that you're going to get the highest possibility for coloring, blending, and removing. I'm going to do an outline of where Batman's face should be. This kind of reminds me of a Pac-Man face, except for the little nose part, and then you have to add the little ear on top. I left the space open for where Batman's eye is going to be, so I don't have to paint that white over the top of the black later on. And then I go ahead and color it all in. Next, I'm going to load up on gray by Micam. I'm going to be using a Filbert brush and doing the body shape. I'm bringing his body up and towards the side of my face towards the ear. Arms are going to go down. This doesn't have to be exact, but you have to think a little bit wider where the chest is going to be and a little smaller where the legs are. Here I'm using the black by my gum and I'm going to do a little circle to where his fist is and connect it and another one right on top for the arm right behind. Quick little outline. And his gloves come down in little spikes underneath. The outline of the chest and his belt. And I'm just going to try to do quickly a shape of where his feet are going to be and the feet are going to be pointed and towards the sky. We're going to do the little calf muscles and then we're going to bring the cape up. And when I do the cape I kind of think it looks like a spider web because you have those little rounded shapes and then the points. And that's how Batman's cape looks. Now that I've finished up with the black paint on the cape, I'm going to move on and I'm going to load up my white paint by Micam. I'm going to use my Cornell brush. And for the eye, I'm going to use a teardrop shape and bring that back towards the cape. And I decided to just do this as the eye instead of adding in a pupil, just so it was a little bit easier and faster. I put the white down where Batman's belt is going to be. I'm going to come back and put some yellow paint on top of that, but I wanted it to show up really brightly, so I added white on the bottom first. Next, I'm going to load on my sponge some of the white paint, and I'm going to get a little stencil work in. Hold it up and sponge it on to where the cape is, and also the side of where Batman's mask is lightly. I wanted to put a little streak in the sky where Batman is going to be flying from, so load up on your 3 4 inch flat brush this cake called Iceland from Global, and then you're going to bring it from wherever Batman's legs are carefully around to the forehead. And next, you're going to get that sponge that you used before, and you're going to load up a little bit more of that white paint by Micam, and we're going to add some stars across this little streak in the sky. And this paint's really creamy, so you don't get a lot of drips when you use it with stencils, which I love. And voila, there we go. Next, we're going to take our Cornell round number two, and we're going to get this white paint by Micam and load it up, and we're going to do some highlights. I like to use it to separate some of the black areas so that you can tell that he has another leg behind the front leg and also behind his gloves so you can tell that there's two gloves, not just one, and also just for highlights just to bring this color up. I really like this paint for the line work. It works really well, like I can go a while without having to reload it if I've added enough water at the beginning. If you notice that I'm going over the black, how well the coverage is, it works really well for the line work. So you can stop here or you can keep going like I did and add in a couple stars and maybe some dots 
and then just make that streak look like it just trails off into the distance. And I can keep going with this line work. I haven't had to reload it. And I'm going to go over this black on the cape. Forgot those highlights. And also underneath the jawline just to separate out where the jaw is in Batman's body. I hope you guys enjoyed this Batman tutorial. It was fun for me. I'm going to do another tutorial after this of a Batman balloon. So keep watching if you're interested. You can get all these Mike and Paints at the facepaintforumshop.com. Okay, I'm back, and this time for some Batman balloon fun. We're going to get this Batman head from Qualitex and blow that baby up. Make sure you don't overinflate, you guys, because it will pop. So there he is, super cute. Tie it up, and then we're going to set that aside. Grab two 260 balloons. These are the twisty balloons, you guys. And then flate them about where you have a five or six inch tail. Tie that off, and then grab the other one, same color. Blow that baby up. Same amount on the tail or similar, best you can eyeball it out. Tie that off. See, that tail is a little bit shorter, but that's okay. I'm going to twist. The first bubble is going to be about three inches. The next one is a pinch twist coming up. Boop. Three twists is the magic number, you guys, whenever you're doing your balloons. So that's going to be one little tootsie, and here comes the next about a three inch bubble and a one inch bubble. Hold those two and then pinch and twist. Now what do we have? Two feet. Super cute. Okay, now we're gonna hold them together and we're gonna bend and squeeze. That's gonna be the kneecaps. Next is gonna be where his bottom is. Twist three times, now another three times, and now we're gonna have two bubbles in the middle trapped, bend it over, Pinch and twist, and that's going to be his little bootay. Here he goes. Oh, hot buns. Okay, so now we're going to be doing the torso. Twist off, holding the first and the last bubbles. Now one inch bubble in between. Put it together, pinch, and twist. I like to pull apart a little bit when I'm doing that twist. Less friction means less popping. These are the arms. They're two different sizes, but no big deal. Squeeze that. And we'll make a, a little hand over here since this is a short arm. Squeeze it again on the other side, and we're going to make a big hand because this is the long arm. And it evens it out just a little bit. Get that head. Pop that baby on. You're going to take it by the nozzle, and then you're going to thread it through right around where the neck is, and then position it so he's facing forward. But what's he missing? Hmm. He needs his cape. Hello. I picked a gray. And I'm going to blow that baby up all the way almost with a teeny, teeny, teeny bitty tail. And that's just so I can tie the end of the nozzle onto the end. And now you have a little circle shape. But Batman kind of has more of a triangular shape. So I'm going to squeeze and pinch. And the balloon will retain that shape, which is kind of cool. And there's his cape. Voila. Get the nozzle. Push it right in there where Batman's back is. And tie it around. And there we have a superhero, you guys. He's so cute. We're going to make him do some karate. Okay, enjoy you guys. Bye.